guys, Ryu Karat here. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. In the last part, um, let's see here. No. Oh wait, yeah, I got it. Uh, in the last part, I uh, talked about putting a picture of my dick on screen for some reason, and then I failed miserably at this uh, flying through the tree thing because I was like, oh, this isn't that hard. And in this part, I'm going to succeed at the flying through. Th I, no, 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 no. I'm going to fail miserably at the flying through the tree thing. Because if I say that I'm going to succeed at it, I'm just going to fail miserably again. And that would be a dang old shame. Because, okay, I'm going to complete that thought when, I, when I've done this. Because this isn't that hard of a thing to do. There we go. Like I know, it, I know it's dumb that I feel the need to. Uh... Oh God! Yeah, it, it's dumb that I feel. Wow, that ice water is rude. It's like, is it too cold for you, Banjo? Then stay out. But, uh, but yeah, this level is, like, this level is pretty much the Zelda dungeon level. Like, basically what happens for this level is you get the Beak Bomb attack, or I think it's called the Beak Bomb. I don't know, the Beak Bomb might actually be the name of the ground pound in this game, but you get it and... OH GOD! And then the game wants you to use it on everything. Like, oh, Beak Bomb the Snowman! Beak Bomb the, uh, buttons on the giant snowman! Uh, Beak Bomb the thing! Beak Bomb the ice block! Beak Bomb these houses! Beak Bomb the chimney! Suck on the chimney, then Beak Bomb it again! Why would you suck on a chimney? I don't know, maybe, maybe you're into a re and into really, really phallic objects? And you just see the chimney, and you're also, like, a largely sized individual, and you see the chimney, and you're like, Oh my god, I just, I need to suck on that right now. I just need to suck on that right now! Hashtag shit Ryu says! Oh my god, what the hell me? Like, seriously, why do I say the things I say? Why are you watching this? I, I sincerely want to know. Like, I, like, why are you watching this right now? Pause the video and just ask yourself, why am I watching this video right now? And then after you've figured out the reason, please, please post it in the comments. I legitimately want to know why anyone who watches me watches me. When I talk about dumb shit, like giant... With, um, with a uh, thing for phallic, extremely fa particularly phallic objects. Good lord. Like, how did I even get on this subject anyway? I don't even, I, I was talking about beak bombing things, and somehow that transitioned to... Good job, me! Oh my god, the things that happen in my Let's Plays. The things that happen, the things that happen. I don't want- I want to get that feather! No, I'm dead. Okay, I seriously need to start watching my health, though. I don't want to die again in a level that's not- Okay, well, every level's Rusty Bucket Bay, but still, I don't want to die again in a level that's not the actual Rusty Bucket Bay. That would just be, uh... That would just be a shameful display on my part, and I would I would have to verbally apologize for poor gameplay. But with that said, I got the um I got the jiggy. Yay! I got the jiggy! Let's No! Go down! Wow! This is an interesting way to climb this tree! Like, holy crap, this is actually pretty funny. Oh god! Well, my plan eventually worked. It just took me a lot, like six or seven tries to pull it off. Oh, hey, there's a um a beehive. Uh, this will this will get me my health back. Thank God. 
Because I don't need to go around the level beak bombing everything with with low health. Because if you hit something you're not supposed to hit, I don't know if you noticed it, you probably did. Because I've hit multiple things that I shouldn't have hit thus far. Um, if you hit something that you're not normally supposed to hit, uh, it will cost you some of your life. And oh my god, these ice physics. Okay, there we go. Now! Nonetheless, I have to beak bomb all the snowman. There's there's no way any of them can live. All right. My hat's off to you, good sir. Oh god, I missed. I think he just noped me. Oh, oh well, I guess since he's a snowman, I think he just snoped me. Cuz like, oh my god, I think he just like ducked out of the way. He was like ha 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. And oh my god, Banjo, get on the thing. Okay, wow, I ha he's thrown m multiple of those at me. I haven't seen one of them. His aim is awful. Of course, now that I say that, watch him just- OH GOD! I am apparently worse at this than I remember being. Like, oh my god. So, spoiler warning. With how this is going, I feel the need to mention that there's actually a phase of this, a phase where you use the beak bomb, or whatever the hell this thing's called, in the final boss fight, so I need to get good. Need to get good now. Let's see here. Okay, come on. Apparently, I'm just not meant to hit these guys unless I hit them at point-blank range. Damn it. Nope. I was about to say, please don't make me miss after I just said, after I got myself at point blank range. That would, that would just be depressing. All of the depression, actually. There we go. I, yeah, there we go. I was about to say, I think that's all of them. But then it gave me the jiggy and I was like, okay, yeah, that's all of them. Of course, it's interesting. I didn't. I actually didn't remember that there was a jiggy for killing the snowmen. I just killed them because uh, most of them have a collectible underneath them that uh, that you can get. Okay, now let's hit you. Ow! Ow! Did I just hit both the button and the snowman? If I did, that would be- that is very impressive, and I deserve a round of applause, even if it was a dumb thing that I wasn't supposed to do. Yeah, because I took damage. I- I- I somehow managed to hit both the button and- oh god. So wow, apparent- so apparently this Jiggy came out of that, uh, snowman's vagina. Because, you know, snowmen have vaginas. That is a thing that all snowmen have! I want this gold feather. I want this gold feather, but I oh I have I already have max gold feathers. Oh well. Let us see here. I think around this thing's neck there's stuff that I can get and it makes me happy to have stuff. Because you know, stuff is good. Collecting things is very fun. I don't care what Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolt says. I, I want more collectathons. Which is good because like apparently, um with indie games like uh, A Hat in Time and um, Ukulele, uh, I'm, a, I'm actually very excited for both of those, but um, it's starting to feel like they're starting to make a comeback. I know 2 is not a comeback, but let me dream! Let me have my dreams of happiness and jumping around in, le in big levels like this, collecting things that... Ha that literally exist for the sake of progress. There's no reason to get them other than that other than the obvious solution of they make you progress. I want that. Alright, there we go. And actually I might actually fall I might actually fall off of this thing trying to get these notes. That would just make me cry. I would cry and then I would need a hug. So, if I fall off trying to get these notes, please leave a comment that says hugs. Or just hug me anyway, because I, I, I'm... 
Ah, I, I am somewhat of a hoggy person. Somewhat, he says. Let's see. Actually, I don't really need more eggs right now. I just... I wonder... Oh, God! Are the gold feathers supposed to be the snowman's tears? Does he cry tears of gold? Man, that would be amazing if you could cry tears of gold. You'd be able to, um get rich really, really fast, and then the amount of gold there is in the world now would cause the value of gold to go down. Seriously, why would you eat a golden, oddly shaped chunk of... I don't know, these things look like they're made out of metal? Well, I guess since they're gold, they're obviously metal, but still, why would you eat that ever? Like, I guess since it's a puzzle piece, I can't piece together why you would do that, but still. Let's see, I think on the view total screen it's possible to check um, your non-main collectibles somehow. Uh, well, I guess not. Um, here's the thing, you may have noticed that I've picked up like two, at least two presents in the level thus far. I don't know how many I need though. So, well, I know how many I need, I just don't know if I have them all. Okay, obviously I don't. So, let's see here, I'm at, okay, I'm at 12 minutes. I, I still have plenty of time here. Uh, let's, I'm trying to think, where is the last one? I want to say, actually, I kind of want to say I can't get it yet, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, so yeah, one of the snowmen guarded a mumbo token, and another one guarded the empty honeycomb pe One of the empty honeycomb pieces for this level. There's more than one. Because there's two per level. And there's probably an, a non-killy way to get to Mumbo's skull here, but I, I don't know what it is. My, like... The method of getting to it cannot penetrate my thick skull. I'm just all punny in this episode, apparently. Oh well, it's been a while since I've actually made a bunch of really, really bad puns. I, of course, I mean, I know why that is, because, like, it was basically just the result of the absence of my, of my brother being around for, like, the past year of my life. And I, I just always made the bad puns to annoy him. Like, like, literally, that's the entire reason I did it, and then it just started working its way into everything I say. And then I, and then I, and then he moved away for a long time, and the puns just stopped. So, let's see here. With, as the walrus, it now becomes possible to go into the, um, into the ice water and not take a hit. I am pretty sure that is the entire purpose of the wa Well, actually, no, there's another thing I can do, but... Um... Well, for one, I don't think I... Well, actually, I, I kind of feel like I have time. I, I'm collecting... I, I guess I'm just collecting notes right now, so, um... Okay, yeah, I'll do the one thing, the other thing... Well, the... I'm being dumb, because, like, as I'm speaking, there are more and more things that you can do with the walrus that I am that are occurring to me, but you need to be Walrus Banjo in order to do this. This thing that I am about to do. Also, 67, that's a weird number. I don't like that number. Hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy a race? Hop on the sled if you do. Okay, let's go. Great. Now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and beat me to the end. Got it? And yes, you have to be the walrus in order to do that. If you try to do it as Banjo, I think that- Oh, hey! I never got this! Wow! That is just- I am just showing my brilliance at this video game. Complete a task and then don't get the jiggy because I am all the dumb. And you actually do want to be, be very careful on this, because unlike him, because he's a total cheater, you can slide off and fall in at that previous part. It's, and if you do that, it is pretty much game over. Oh god! 
You know what else is game over? Getting stuck underneath the bridge and losing because... I mean, I think he'll disqualify... Actually, is he rubber... Is he rubber banding? Oh my god, he is rubber banding. Wow. I did not actually know that he rubber bands. Then again, what in the N64 era didn't rubber band? Let's be completely reasonable here and think of things in the N64 era that did not rubber band. Or I would, but... I'm getting up on time, so... In the next part to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie Blind... God damn it, this is not blind! In the next part to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, we're going to continue with Rusty Bucket Bay and... I don't know, are we going to finish it? Ah, we might if I get lucky, but... I mean, I, I've demonstrated how lucky I am in this Let's Play thus far, and... Well, I suppose I don't have the right to say I'm unlucky, considering I did Crocker Rock's weird minigame uh, in, in my, on my first try, so... We'll just have to see. See you then. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more, click any of the buttons to be taken to the next episode, the playlist, or three of my other LPs.